Okay, folks, real quick video showing you how to get your, your recording started. Okay, I'm in simulator mode. Works the same way when you're out on the water. What you want to do, I would, I would suggest a couple of things. Go to menu, menu, go to setup, go down to user mode, put it in advanced mode. I'm not 100% sure that makes any difference with the recording view, but let's get it in advanced mode. That gives you all the options at your fingertips, okay? Then hit the exit button, takes you back up to the top menu. Go over to views, hit the up arrow key until you see snapshot and recording view. I have mine on visible. You can have it hidden. Make sure and check that. I have seen in resetting defaults or even updating software, I have seen that hidden by default. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Don't know why, but just go check it. Okay, let's flip that on visible. Okay, then we're going to exit out of that. Exit twice. We're going to go to the views until we find the snapshot recording view. Remember, this is the simulator. Okay. Ah, uh, come on. There we are. Okay, now this screen, hit menu one time, right arrow, start recording. I always leave my pings per second on automatic. You can exit out of that. Then you can go back to whatever view you want to use while you're recording. Now, you can record for a long time. I think this is an 8 gigabyte card. I'm not 100% sure how long you can record, but... You know, you can record a long time, okay? Probably more than you want to watch. Let's put it that way. So when you're done, when you've decided you've done all the recording you want to, simply hit menu again. Stop recording. Hit exit. And back to fishing. Time to go home, whatever the case may be. All right, I hope that helps you. Just in case you don't know how to start recording on a core series unit. Thanks for watching my videos. Later.